Son of God, say in my mind, and you don't die, give as you receive, and the holy list is Satan. This is the part 5 in the series, Psychotherapy, How to Manifest Immortality, and the name of today's teaching is The Role of the Psychotherapist. The psychotherapist is a leader in the sense that he walks slightly ahead of the patient and helps him to avoid a few of the pitfalls along the road by seeing them first. Ideally, he is also a follower, for one should walk ahead of him to give him light to see. Without this one, both will merely stumble blindly onto nowhere. It is, however, impossible that this one be wholly absent if the goal is healing. He may, however, not be recognized. And so the little light that can be then accepted is all there is to light the way to truth. Healing is limited by the limitations of the psychotherapist as it is limited by those of the patient. The aim of the process, therefore, is to transcend these limits. Neither can do this alone, but when they join, the potentiality for transcending all limitations has been given them. Now, the extent of their success depends on how much of this potentiality they are willing to use. The willingness may come from either one at the same, uh, at the beginning, and as the other says it, it will go. Progress becomes a matter of decision. It can reach almost to heaven or go no further than a step or two from hell. It is quite possible for psychotherapy to seem to fail. It is even possible for the result to, to look like retrogression. But in the end, there must be some success. One asks for help, another hears and tries to answer in the form of help. This is the formula for salvation and must heal. Divided goals alone can interfere with perfect healing. Divided goals alone can interfere with perfect healing. One holy egoless therapist could heal the world without a word merely by being there. No one need see him or talk to him or even know of his existence. His simple presence is enough to heal. The ideal therapist is one with Christ, but healing is a process, not a fact. The therapist cannot progress without the patient, and the patient cannot be ready to receive the Christ, or he could not be sick. In a sense, the egoless psychotherapist is an abstraction that stands at the end of the process of healing, too advanced to believe in sickness and too near to God to keep his feet on earth. Now, he can help through those in need of help, or thus he carries out the plan established for salvation. The psychotherapist becomes his patient, working through other patients to express his thoughts as he receives them from the mind of Christ. Thinks not good practice. You can do it. Practice, practice. The means are happily provided. Thank you.